good morning, good afternoon, and good night. Welcome back to another City Skylines episode. My name is Sports Monkey, and we are back here in my YouTube series called Kelly Creek. And we're back here again for another video on how to manage your traffic in City Skylines. So that is pretty much what we're trying to do for today is traffic management. And we're going to try to put our Biffa Plays hat on and try to improve my overall traffic in the city. This has been pointed out to me by multiple YouTubers that, hey, you gotta eventually fix your traffic, Sports Monkey. So let's get started on fixing our traffic. So first and foremost, how bad is the problem? Well, as you can tell, we are at about 16% and a lot, you can see a lot of red roads. <laughs> like that means traffic is jammed. So overall, we are not doing a good job of traffic management, and you can tell that at the bottom right of the screen, my population is dropping dramatically. So if we went into, like, what are my issues with traffic in this city? We we go to the left, and a lot of the a lot of the sims don't use that. And we go up the middle, a lot of the sims are using that. And if we go to the right, a ton of the sims are trying to get into the right side of the city. And as you can tell that things are extremely congested and look at this traffic jam we have going all the way down like you, it just keeps going Look, it keeps going and going and going like this is not good this is not how your traffic should be in city skylines so the very first area I would like to actually attack is this right hand side of our city this exit is not it's no bueno it does not work and it's it's a part of the congestion. Now, like I said, we are putting on our Biffa plays hat and we, what does Biffa do to a lot of the cities? He adds a roundabout. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into our roundabouts, the pre-made ones. And I think originally I wanted to start with a small one. Then I just plopped down a large one. A large one has more lanes and it just made way more sense. So now that we have our large roundabout in place, we have to, get the highway connection back on uh, we have to connect it basically so we have we're gonna grab a small one lane road and we're gonna try to or a two laner but either or will work but we need to make sure that a it looks halfway decent and b we need to buy some time what i mean by that is we need to make this exit lane long enough where you know and if there is congestion we can kind of slow cars down and try to like actually get them to slow down and kind of like absorb some of the traffic so this so in real life you would never see this all right like you know when you're getting off a highway you're pretty much getting off directly and right now we're just buying time by connecting it right there now i know it does not look the prettiest right there yeah i'm struggling i know but you know that turned out pretty much okay i'm not too upset with how that road looks but obviously buying time we're trying to slow the cars down and we're trying to just give the roundabout some time to actually have cars on it so the next thing we have to do is we have to connect the other road so there's a large road which you can tell has a lot of bike paths and then we have the medium sized road so we have to connect this large road and it overall um, it's not doing too bad fitting in there, but guess what's in the way? Uh, there's a school in the way and I took a little bit of time to figure this out, but that's all right. So let's fast forward this. So as you can tell that our roundabout is complete right now, I am doing lane management with the traffic manager. I'm trying to get traffic to flow perfectly. So we don't want any cars to hit that right lane. So off the highway, we just want cars to go in that right lane. We don't want any cars to go in the middle. So that's why I kind of push that off to the, you know, push the, the left-hand lanes, the two left-hand lanes, I want off to the side. I don't want them at all messing up people coming off the highway. So as you can tell, basic lane management, just going across, nothing too crazy, connect the dots. This is very important though, giving that right hand lane the right away. So no, so no cars have to stop essentially. So basically they just have to slow down and take a right hand turn. That's literally the gist of it. And that was my goal behind it. And you know, will this work? You know, make sure you, make sure you watch through the end and see if it actually works. 
And I think right now though, when I'm doing this, the it works out really, really well. So now that you've seen me do enough lane management to choke a horse, you're gonna see this process that I started. The main arterial road is what I was working on in this part of, of the video, of the recording. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to take that page out of Biffa Plays. And I wanted to add more roundabouts. We needed the traffic to keep flowing. We didn't need people to stop while they were coming off the highway or while they're coming from our suburban area. And I also wanted to make sure that, you know, we, we connected everything and to make sure it all fit really well. And all of our connections in place, uh, you know, it basically we improved this should improve traffic flow a ton now i almost forgot to add in the unwrap which that's completely okay and ultimately you know we'll see if this the road layout the city skylines road layout sticks but you know as we kept going we'll we'll see if any improvements were made so this next part of the video i stole this idea from city planner plays city skyline so city planner he, I saw that he did this in one of his previous builds that he was all about adding roads with bike paths. So when I got to this part of the build, I started upgrading all the roads. You guys don't need to see me upgrading all the roads, but you could just see, get my point. I started upgrading all the roads so bicycles can ride on them. So now our third part of this build i wanted to add a highway connection into the back of our city now i did add another roundabout also which again we wanted traffic to flow and that seemed to be the best idea i can come up with and overall we're, we'll see the end results to see if it helped my city's traffic flow at all but you know just adding more highway connections helped out a lot so the last part I wanted to add to this traffic management um, and adding the roads, I just wanted to add that large road to our, I want, I cut off the main arterial road, as you can tell, and it was forcing traffic to go to the right onto that on-ramp. And I wanted to bring that arterial road back, which I ultimately did. So guys, this is how I helped fix my city and I helped with the traffic management part. Just, we're gonna give it a little bit of time and see. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, we ran the simulation for about a good 20 minutes, give or take 20, 30 minutes. And I just wanna show you guys, before I show you guys the results of our traffic managing and you know our fixes we did while we were playing this game, I just wanted to show you guys how everything cleared up. So as you can tell, the main roads in the city downtown are very, very clear. Uh, there used to be a huge cluster of cars on these large roads. That is no longer the case. One of the main things we, you, we already saw how I built it. So I'm not gonna go into details, but everything opened up really, really nicely. Then if you went over here to this roundabout, so Biffa is onto something first of all with these roundabouts because it keeps traffic flow going. So if you guys remember that this over here, this was just an exit. It was a T. Essentially, the road was just a T, and there was a lot of, it was a cluster. And everything is flowing really, really amazing. So, you know, so far, so good with our roundabouts. Now, our third one was over here. We had a lot of traffic coming in off the highway, and this traffic is moving perfect. And there's no issues at all. There's no backups. And then the one of the main parts I did want to show you guys is obviously I did this on and off ramp. But remember how horrible traffic was? It was backed up crazy. It was backed up to the very edge of the map where people are able to come in. Now it's free flowing and moving and it's doing an amazing job. So I would suggest that for traffic management purposes, I suggest a couple things. More on and off ramps from... The inside of your city more of those use those roundabouts that biffa talks about and overall it will help your traffic flow so let's see remember we were at 21 percent traffic flow let's see the final answer the, we are at 63 percent. so we went up we increased by 40 percent traffic flow now is it perfect heck no but we increased it by 40 percent 
And what happens when you increase your traffic by 40%, your income goes up. Look at we're making $28,000 and our population went from 40,000 to 60,000. So just keep that in mind when you are managing your traffic that once your traffic improves, your city will overall see a ton of growth. And as you can tell, I do need to add industrial and commercial. So that also went up. So just keep that in mind. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this tra traffic managing video. Please, please remember to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you like this content. Have a great rest of your day.